Hi, good afternoon, everybody. It's time for cookies. So this is what we're making today. I'm a little bit early, but I know I've got lots of new faces today. So I just wanted to come on and make sure you know you're in the right place. So if you can see this and you can see the ingredients, you can start to get those ready if you don't have them ready. Um, if you're here a little bit earlier as well, give me a thumbs up or a smiley face or something like that. Um, pop up your names and your age, where you're from, and I will give you guys a shout out. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Liza from Oxford again. It's so lovely to see lots of you cooking all the recipes with me. It's really nice and lovely to see all you new guys that have joined as well, obviously. So hello, hello. So definitely time for something nice and sweet today to have a cup of tea a bit later. So hi, Sophie. Hi, Paige and then Mummy again. Fantastic. We're going to have to have a little award, aren't we, at the end of all of this, all the people that have cooked all the recipes and been sharing you all their amazing photos. Fantastic. Hi, Addison. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Stephanie. Fantastic. I'm looking to see, I know lots of you are in exciting places around the country. I'm looking to see our glamorous friends from Australia we've had, and we've had Malta, and we've had Sri Lanka. So if you're somewhere really exotic, let me know. Hi, Leica. Hi, Hattie, Theodore, Theo. Fantastic. Lots of you wanting to make cookies, unsurprisingly, today. So this is what we're making. This is the uh, the leftovers from yesterday. I had to put them on a plate so that my greedy family didn't eat them all. Um, and they are super yummy. And they're very healthy cookies because they're basically gluten-free, egg-free, dairy-free, all the rest of it. However, they're not nut-free. They have nuts in Nuts are really good for you, unless obviously you have a nut allergy, in which case this is not the recipe for you. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Toby and Harry again. Lovely and Arjun. Fantastic. This is a really quick and simple recipe today. It's a paleo recipe. Um, it's great for anybody celebrating Passover if you can't have any kind of um, gluten and flour at the moment. It's great for people, obviously, who are celiac or trying to cut down or just don't have gluten in their diet. So I thought it was a really nice one to do today. So hi, Isla in Swansea, and we've got Madison, and lots of, lots and lots of you, I can see lots of thumbs up, that's fantastic. So I'm just going to run through really quickly. So for guys that are new, every week when you sign up, you get the recipes, so you should have that, but I always run through at the start of the class. So this is what you need. I'm going to show you there are a couple of substitutes that you can do today. You're going to need about 180 grams of ground almonds. It's not almond flour. You don't need to buy anything special. So just in the, wherever you are in the supermarket, usually in the baking aisle, I buy these. They're just ground almonds or in the nut section. Some of you already asked, um, emailed in and said, what if I don't have ground almonds? If you've got anything like whole nuts or flaked almonds like this, if I show you these, these are the kind of decorative ones you might sprinkle on desserts and things. You might have them at the back of your cupboard. Just get a little food processor or if you've got a Nutribullet or a little smoothie maker or something like that and just whiz them up. Super easy, super quick. And if you don't have almonds, you can maybe try with a different nut. This recipe I wrote to be a kind of paleo recipe, so I can't tell you if it's going to work 100% with other things. Normally, I'd be really relaxed about it and say, give it a go, but I know ingredients are scarce, so I don't want you to waste anything. So you're going to need some ground almonds, but you can whiz your own. You're going to need some coconut oil, and I love coconut oil because it's very healthy, but also it's really fun because look at it. It's not a liquid, is it? It's solid. Look at that. I can tip it upside down and it's white. It's not clear. But if you don't have coconut oil, then just sunflower oil or a vegetable oil or something that's quite neutral. Um, and we're going to melt this because obviously this is solid. So I'm going to show you that. Little bit of baking powder if you have, but not terrible if you don't. Some lovely vanilla. And if you've got a nice bottle, this is a huge one, but give it a big sniff. Mmm, smells just like the ice cream, doesn't it? Hi, you're back for more. Harry and Oliver and Amber. I said hello to Immy. How fantastic. And then a little bit of natural sweetness. So we're not using sugar. I'm just going to use maple syrup. If you've got honey or something like that, that's absolutely fine. And then obviously chocolate chips. So the only ones that I could get are these. They're dark chocolate, but whatever ones you like. I think dark or milk are best because they show up better on the cookies. So rather than white, but it's very much up to you. And if you don't have chocolate chips, then just any chocolate. I've just got a bar of chocolate like we used the other day. I'm going to show you how you can cut it up into smaller pieces as well. So that's also fine. And that really is it. Really, really simple today. And um, if you're working with the coconut oil, you're going to need to melt it. So either just in a little bowl for the microwave or a saucepan. I've got a glass bowl here for mixing behind. So I'll show you in a minute. And then I've just got a baking tray. I've got a lovely silicone mat, but if you haven't got a silicone mat, then just some paper on the top, okay? 
So let me just give you a shout out while you get all of those bits together and then we will get started. Yes, wash hands, I'm about to tell you that. The three things, while we're on it, what are the three things we do? We wash our hands, which I'm going to do. Pop on our apron, so for those of us with long hair, which we all will in a few weeks time, tie up your hair. So hi Lizette, hi Lewis, you're joining me again, that's lovely. And Georgia, so you're eight and ready to bake, that is fantastic. I know a few of you have got birthdays today, so happy birthday, and it's lovely that you're coming to make your own cookies. Hi Eliza in Winchester, and I've got Matilda, you've got everything ready for pizza. No, pizza's not today, I know it did say pizza at the top, but hopefully you've got the cookie recipe. If you haven't, it's all here, so just get going. All of the other recipes are on replay, okay? Um, it just when it downloads, for some reason, it's just saying pizza at the top, but you should have the right recipes, I promise, okay? So hi, Elizabeth, and Ruby, and Melissa, and Sydney. We've got lots of you today. That is fantastic. Right, so thank you for reminding me. I'm going to come back in a minute, but first things first, we're going to go and wash our hands, so I'm going to go and do that. You can do that too. Make sure you've got all your bits done, and then we will be ready to start. One thing also to say to you is turn on your ovens. So they need to be on 180 fan. Yep, or sorry, 180 or 160 fan. So if you've got a fan oven, it's always slightly bit lower. So we've got a question, 100 grams of almonds. So what I would do is just halve the recipe, okay? So just use the 100, I mean, it's a bit more than, the recipe's 180, so half of that would be 90, but just use 100 and you'll be absolutely fine, okay? So and uh, you know, unless you've got any flaked almonds and stuff like I was saying earlier, and then you can just whiz them up yourself in a food processor. Or, or whole almonds, whatever you've got, or some other nuts you can grind up as well, okay? So I'm gonna wash my hands. Hi Lexi, hi Ella, I think I've got all of you guys so far. Lots of smiles, so we're nearly ready to go. Good, right, so give your hands a really good wash. Really good wash, we're getting good at this hand washing as well. Right, so we're gonna wash our hands. And then we're gonna get going. So, Right, cinnamon raisin, that's also fine. Lovely idea, I like that one. Let me know, that is, sounds fantastic. Yeah, so I've just put a little chocolate chips in for a bit of flavor, but they're gonna hold together really well and you absolutely can flavor them with a bit of cinnamon. So I'm loving all the substitutions, that is fantastic. Hi, Green and Guernsey and Rose and Alice, hello. Right, so I'm gonna put this out of the way so we can get started. So I've got my bowl, but what we're gonna start with first is we're gonna start with these really lovely things. Away. Hi Laura and Leo. Yo, you're struggling to read the ingredients. Okay, so let me just recap again. It's 180 grams of ground almonds, about what do I put that? 60 ml of coconut oil or just regular sunflower oil or something like that. Keep turning it around. Two tablespoons of maple syrup or honey, two teaspoons of vanilla, a little bit of baking powder, and some chocolate chips or some chocolate that will cut, okay? So I'm gonna worry as we go through it, I'm gonna start as we go so you will not miss out. Really happy birthday, happy fourth birthday. That is fantastic. That means you get to eat four cookies, okay? I think we've got Maeve on here somewhere who's eight. So that means Maeve, you get to eat eight cookies. That's a lot of cookies, isn't it? Hi, Joshua, hello, and Ibrahim, fantastic. Now, I am going to use coconut oil. So if you've got this as well, it's fantastic oil. It's a weird oil, isn't it? Because most oil is a liquid, but this is super, super hard. So I'm gonna weigh it out, pop it in my saucepan and I'm gonna melt it here. You can put it in a little bowl and put it in the microwave, whatever you want. So we're gonna turn our scales on and if you've got scales like this, they'll all be the same. So there's a little on off button and there's a little unit button. So just turn it on, check it's on this time ml to milliliters because we're gonna measure our oil. Now, question, is it okay to use normal whole with the skins? Yeah, just whiz them up. So you're absolutely right. Ground almonds normally have the skins peeled off them, the same with flaked ones. So they won't be quite as white as mine when they come out. It's absolutely fine, just whiz them up, okay? Perfect, so you'll make a really nice crunchy noise. Just in a little blender, and if you don't have a food processor or something like this, um, a little coffee grinder or a Nutribullet or some smoothie maker, anything like that will work, okay? Perfect, what can I use instead of almonds? This is really a nut recipe, so if you've got any other nuts, I would try that, um, maybe hazelnuts or something like that but it's not really a recipe that you can kind of sub out for flour. Um, somebody asked me earlier about coconut flour. I've not done it with coconut flour, so I'm really low at the moment when ingredients are scarce to get you to try something that I don't know works um, 100%. My feeling is it should, so if you've got and you want to try that, then you can do. Um, you've not got enough ground almonds, you've advocated, added some desiccated coconut. Give it a go and we'll see. It should be. Coconut is kind of quite similar in texture. You want something that's got a natural oil to it. 
and it's going to bind together. So you'll see when we get to the texture, and if it's not quite right, you'll message me and I will let you know, okay? Um, you only have butter, it's exactly the same, that's fine, not a problem. So you're going to need about 60 milliliters, okay, of your oil or your stuff. Now, how much is needed? The same for the butter. Hi, Luca and Anna Marie. Perfect. I'm just setting my scales onto zero. And then if you're using coconut oil, you're going to need to give it a big old scoop, okay? So we're using all of our wet ingredients. So if you've got butter, then you also want to melt it like me. So you can see, look how it comes out. It's really fun, this. You just pop it in there. And if you've got really hot hands, what's really fun, guys, at home is take a little bit. I'll show you in a minute. Especially if you've got, if you're cooking with little ones, so those of you that are four and the small ones, you're going to have hot hands. And if you put a little bit in your hands, you'll see the magic. Let me just put this in here and get this going, and then I'm going to come and show you what I mean. So you're going to scrape this in. I think that's probably too much. Look how hard it is. Can you see how hard that is? There we go. Probably a bit too much. Perfect. So that's good. So what I meant was, if you've got, you can see on my hands, I've got a bit there. And if I just, while I look at your comments, I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to turn my gas on. Not my gas. I keep saying gas, but I haven't got gas anymore. Right. So, and you might melt it in the microwave. So while I'm just having a look at your comments, can you see that I've got a lump in my hands? I'm just going to put my hands together, and you're just going to see what's going to happen. Hi, Lexi. Hi, Alexi. Hi, Ella. Felix was excited and so is Daddy. Is Daddy making with you or is Daddy just going to eat them? Get yeah, Daddy to do the washing up. Okay. Hi, Lewis. So just can you see in that second, it's already starting to get greasy on my hands. And literally, it just melts. I actually haven't got very hot hands today. So a lot of people use coconut oil as a kind of moisturizer. So can you see already? Literally, it's just gone. And you can just, so if you've got any oil on your hands, you can just do that. Give yourself a massage. And if you're using um, regular oil, sunflower oil, or something like that, it's just liquid, so don't worry, just pour it straight into your mixing bowl, okay? Hi, Megan. Hi, Elsie. I'm loving all of these rainbows and these hearts and these lovely smiley faces. Okay. But if I'm going too quickly as we go along, then just pop a little sad face. Don't want too many of those, and then I'll know just to remove that. Okay. You love the pizza. Fantastic. I had lots of pizzas. Honestly, some of them look like... Takeaway pizza is only better, and I love that some of you have written in and said to me, you're never buying a takeaway pizza again, so that is fantastic. 150 grams of almonds, that should be fine. Can you get a shout out? Of course you can, Laura, everybody can get a shout out. I've just got my tech guru in the corner, my glamorous assistant, rolling through. So as I'm chatting, if I miss you, I will come back, so ask again, I promise, okay? What's the gas mark? So um, gas mark is probably, I'm about to check it, I think it's probably five or six. It's about um, 160 fan. You might just, is it four? Might be a bit lower, four, something like that. Okay. Hi, Josiah. Hi, Mika. Your first time. Lovely to have you guys join us. So already you can see it's melting really quickly. And there's not a lot to see because that white lump has basically gone. So I think it's a fun one to play with. So that's why I want you guys to do it today. If you're using regular liquid oil, just pop it in your mixing bowl. Doesn't have to be glass. I put it in glass so you can really see what I'm doing. Okay. Hi, Ali and Dina. Of course, you can have a shout out. Everyone can have a shout out. You can shout back at me. I can't hear you, but it's good. So, Patty and Dora, you're loving trying the ground almonds and honey. I love that too. And that's why it's so healthy for you, this recipe. It's really good. And it's really quite filling, actually. I would say, see how many you can eat, but I'll get in trouble with the grown ups. So, don't eat the whole lot, but they are quite filling. Okay. So, my oil is now all melted. So I'm just going to pour it in and you're going to see. Remember, this is what it looked like. It was all white and solid and just in hardly any time at all. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I think coconut oil is so amazing. And those of you, I don't know if I've got my Sri Lankan friends, will know this is what they cook with a lot. And actually they sell it because it's so hot there, like this, kind of in liquid in bottles. And it's just because it's cold here, it sets. So we're going to have the oil first. And you guys will know that oil is not a solid, is it? It's a liquid. So we're going to start with all of our liquids. So you can have a look on the table in front of you if you've got out all your ingredients like me and see what you need, what else is a liquid. So I'm going to start. Hi, Hayden and Eva and Emily. Lots of first timers. That is fantastic. I'm just going to use, in fact, I'm going to get a teaspoon. I can get a teaspoon. So hi, Pixie and Ellie and Buddy. You're ready to rock and roll. I'd love to see that. I'm ready to rock and roll. Certainly ready to eat cookies, that's fantastic. Hi, Vinon. So we're going to do two tablespoons. So this is really good pouring. So just always hold your spoon over the bowl 
and we're going to pour two and you can do some good counting. If you're using honey, exactly the same. Oops, so there's one and two because we want to mix all of our liquids together really well first. So that's two. I love maple syrup. Isn't it lovely? If you've got honey, you want to mix it a bit better in a minute because honey is a bit thicker, okay? Um, and if you've got any honey that's set, then obviously just mix it. Your third time, Jolene, that's fantastic. Lisa, you need 60 millilitres of oil, okay? Um, so we've literally just got the oil in, so about 60 mils and a couple of tablespoons of honey, honey or uh, maple syrup. So you can see I've got maple syrup, so it's a little bit brown in there. And then we also need a couple of teaspoons. Now, I should have said you might know that teaspoons are what we use when we make tea, so they're the small ones, and tablespoons are what we have when we eat at the table, so they're the big ones, okay? So we're going to need two little ones of vanilla so we're going to give a little squeezy and drop that in so we've got lots of brown stuff going on here today haven't we and a little squeezy and pop that in so that is all our liquid mix mixy mixy like that super easy lovely everybody good and if you've been sitting using sunflower oil or you've melted your butter already, this is super easy. You've done very much, have we? Hi, Tilly and Hazel, butter has melted. Perfect. So, Michelle, just pop your butter, anything that's melted in your bowl. So everybody should have a liquid in here now. And then you've added in some of your vanilla and you've added in some of your maple syrup, okay? That's all we need. Let me get that out of the way. And then when we're ready, hi Kieran and Aidan and Belle, fantastic, and Evie and Wakefield, love having you guys. So nice to see you all, fantastic. Hi Madeline, and who have I got there? Hi Avni, fantastic. Good, this is a really nice question. Now, if you've got scales and we've been measuring them in millilitres, you've got a little button that will say unit. So you wanna press that one until you get to, and you can shout it out at me, because some of you know, when we don't measure liquids, we measure solids, what do we mean? G for grams. So you wanna put it on G for grams, and then, oh, thank you. Loving the channel, I love having you, that is great. So I've got a couple of bags of ground almonds, which I've opened up. So you need 180 grams, okay? And I know some of you have ground your own. If you're using coconut flour, try the same quantity and we'll see how we go. We can always add some more. Okay. Hi, Karina, shout out. You're doing fine and you're doing so well. Well done, sweetheart. Anybody can cook. You can show the grown-ups what it is to be a good cook. How about that? And you can show me your pictures later and then I'll tell you how fantastic they are. Um, hi, Belle, in Mill Hill, just up the road from me. So we're gonna have 180 grams. So you just wanna pour in your nuts. And it will look like a lot, because nuts are actually not very heavy. 180 grams of butter, sorry, right. Of, there's 180 grams of nuts. If you're using butter, you just still wanna weigh it in milliliters. So you'll need 60 milliliters. You, on, just on a scale, just pop it in, change the unit. It's about the same, so you could do 60 grams. So how much butter would be needed? You don't, oh, I see you don't have milliliters on scales. Right, so just do about 60 grams. Right. So, I've got 180 in there. Perfect, let me just check that everybody's okay. Oh, I've got all the Gerards, the Raid, and Louis, and Ethan, and Zach, that's fantastic. Can I, am I allowed to say that you made these last night and you gobbled them up and you're having to come back for a second time? So that's the, that is a thumbs up to how nice they are, huh? And you've been grinding your own nuts, so I'm impressed. Hi, Emma. And hi, of course, Imogen, you can have a shout out as well. Absolutely. Hi, Aurora. Fantastic. Now, the last thing that we need to do, if you've got a little bit, I'm sorry, I didn't actually put my baking powder on that little recipe, but about half a teaspoon. So you can just shake it in. Hello, Molly, and who have I missed here? Liam and Amid Amidala, have I got that right? Perfect, okay. Good, good, good. Hi, Noor. Do you need flour? No flour, Lisa, you just need the ground almonds, okay? That's why this is basically a paleo recipe, so no gluten, no eggs, no dairy. And now this is the fun bit. So what you want to start to do is mix it together. And you can see in my bowl, can you see you're getting all of that wet stuff mixed into the dry? And then a bit like when we made bread the other day, we're going to mush it and smush it until it kind of comes together in a nice clump. So I can take that out of the way because I won't need it. Hi, Emily. It's your first time. It's lovely to have you. Happy and Dora. Yeah, we know that you've been eating that stuff. So, Angus. Hi, Angus. So it sounds really nice and squishy. 
Hi, Sophia Leonardo, and it's your first time too. That's amazing. So you should see, it's a really quick recipe, this. It's going to come together in a nice ball, okay? Now, hi, Sophia. And we have to say that. I'm saying it twice because you're a book. Now, I'm going to leave you guys for a minute to do that, and then you can tell me what is the one thing we've forgotten to put in. Hi, DJ Val. Fantastic. We need a soundtrack to this, don't we? We're going to have to ask you for some help. Hi, Lauren. It's your first time. That's great. What have we forgotten that you'd be very upset with me if I don't put in? Can you see what I've left on my table and you might see? Hi, Amber. It's your first time. Yeah. What have I got here? Mm -hmm. Should we put that in? So, if you have chocolate chips, that's really easy. If you have bits of chocolate, I'm going to just show you while everybody else is mixing. So, do you put baking powder? Yeah, I just sprinkle the baking powder on top of the almonds and just mix it in. It's not vital, so if you don't have it, don't worry about it, okay? And it's your first time, Claire. That's fantastic. Hi, Amber. Right, so if you've got chocolate and no chocolate chips, you just want to break them into, oops, into the pieces like that. And then what we're going to do, that's my chopping board, is with our knife, and I've just got a regular knife, we're going to make our bridge again, put our knife through the middle so we don't cut out like this. And because chocolate is hard, we're going to press on the top. Push down like that, and just chop it into small chunks. Chocolate chips, yes. Yours is not coming together, Karen. Did you, is yours just almonds, or did you use something else? So keep mushing it. Did you put in, you will need the liquid. So if you have any vanilla, or you haven't put in enough honey, you will find it a bit tricky, okay? So maybe add a little bit more, and if not, a little bit of water. But keep mushing, you won't be able to stir it. You really wanna squish it. Can you see what I'm doing here? Like right up against the side of the bowl, okay? And in a minute, we're gonna get our hands in and we'll squish it. So don't worry, don't put too much liquid in, we'll have a go, okay? Hi, oh, you live literally up the road to me. I'm gonna, we might take your address off. That'd be a good idea. So hi Rosie and Ruby, and I have chocolate. So I've got dark chocolate, that was just what I had, but milk chocolate's fine. I recommend either of those because when you make the cookies, they look really pretty with the dark chocolate, but if you like white better, white is also fine, okay? So I've done dark as well because they're paleo, so I wanted to make them kind of vegan today. And um, Max and Ruby, hi, it is lovely that you're here again. I love being with you too. Now, chocolate chips, how much? Good question. You'll have noticed that I didn't put that on there because when you're cooking with little people at home, we quite like chocolate, don't we? So it's up to you. So I normally say a handful. So normally what I do is give myself a nice big handful like that. And then we're going to mash them in and we're going to see if we want any more. Yours is a bit runny. So keep mashing. You might just have added a bit more. It depends on the nuts as well, how fresh they are, because nuts are quite oily. And when we measure oil and, you know, um, we're not always 100% accurate. So keep going with this, do not worry, and I'll show you the texture that you're looking for in a minute. Hi, Mummy and Earth, then you're baking together, that is great, fantastic. So you can see, I'm just gonna chuck in my little chunks. So this is, these are the chunks that I've made. So you want them to be small, okay? And I'm just gonna put those in there because I don't wanna waste them. Right, so I normally, so this is one of the rare occasions that I buy chocolate chips because it makes it really easy. Now, for those of you that were saying it might be a bit runny or a bit stiff, this is where you'll get to know what is right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my hands in the bowl and I'm just going to squish it. This is lots of fun. Okay. So you just want to squish it together. So you pick up all of those chocolate chips and you get it all together. It will kind of mostly be in a ball, so like that, but obviously I've left a few bits, okay? It's your first time. That was amazing, Carrie. How's it going? This is a nice, easy recipe. Hi, I'm saying hello here to Martin. Hmm, are pink spotty and cocoa? Not quite sure about that. Right, my dough is spotty. It is a bit spotty. So this is kind of what you want, okay? Oh, the pigs are called spotty and cocoa. Are they cooking with you now? I'm confused. 
You've got a lovely wet ball, that is absolutely perfect. So once you start squishing it, sometimes depending on the oil, the heat of your hands will really help it come together. Um, you, it won't be that liquid and it will run away. If it's a bit greasy like this, it's really not a problem. And if it's not coming together now with the heat of your hands, you can just add a bit more liquid, maybe a bit more syrup or maybe a bit more, you could add water if you wanted to, a bit more vanilla, whatever, but it should be good. So I'm just gonna check that everybody is kind of at this sort of stage and has it going great, that is fantastic. First time selling, amazing. And I want to say to some of you, this is an unusual recipe for what I would do, but a lot of you have written in and said to me, oh, I can't cook. That would be the grown-ups. Um, but even little people. And what I want to say to you is it's all about confidence in the kitchen. So that's the first thing. So I'm going to teach you, and you're going to know you're going to rock the kitchen. And you already are, because just check out all the amazing photos we've got in the albums. You guys rock, okay? And the second thing is you need a good recipe. A lot of recipes that you read and you try, it's not you. It's the recipe. They're just not that good, and they don't work. So I promise these work, okay? How much butter? We've done that again. Oh, Oliver, my son is upstairs replying for you. So, right, about 60 grams, so that is perfect. I think we're all there. So everybody should have a ball of dough, is that okay? If anybody's not in the right place, just give me a little sad face so I know to wait for you and that we're good. Griffin, I'm glad you're excited. I'm excited to have you too. I'm excited to see what you make, more excited to eat my cookies. So, a clean bowl, no washing up, absolutely, we aim to please. I know that's some of your feedback is when are we going to have a class on washing up, so we'll have to have a word about that, won't we? Right, now, what we're going to do, because I think you guys are all ready, is we're going to make, now I've said about 20, do not worry about dividing them into pieces. Those of you that are practicing maths and division and fractions, that would be a good thing to do, so you could start dividing them and working it out. But you want to take a nice pinch like this, and you want to just squish them in your hand. They don't really roll, just squish them. Can you see what I'm doing? Just open and close until it's sort of ball-like and then pop it down on your line tray. And we're just going to work out that they're about the same size, okay? So also what you want to do is definitely make sure that you've got some chocolate chips in each one. So they're not perfectly neat at the moment. Don't panic, they're kind of like that. And I'm just putting them apart because when we cook with biscuits, we have something normally that I call kissing biscuits, which is biscuits get bigger and bigger and bigger in the oven until they start touching and kissing each other. And normally that is the flour, but we've got no flour today. So as long as you leave a little gap, they won't really spread. So I'm gonna put mine maybe four across on my tray. What if you have some flour or 60 mils again, it's absolutely fine, okay? Hi from Lee, is, I don't know if that's Lee or Leah, because my mummy is spelled the same way, but she pronounces it Lee. So, and you and your brother have a shout out. You absolutely can, Ishra, but I don't know your brother's name. So Ishra and the brother, is that right? Okay. Yours is so runny, you didn't have enough almonds. So you needed 180 grams of almonds, okay? If you were doing less of a quantity, then obviously you need to do less of the other stuff. If you've got some more almonds, just grind them up, even if they're flaked or whole. We've got some other nuts, just whiz them quickly in a processor and add them back in, okay? Um, right. Perfect. So we're all squishing together. So this is a really nice one. The little people and big people. I think it's nice and therapeutic. Now, the most dangerous about this cookie recipe is we don't want any um, escapee chocolate chips. So when you squish, don't have any chocolate chips wasted on the tray. Make sure that they're all in the dough. So I've got lots of nice, neat rows, and I'm sure you have too. Hi, Sheba, you're not making You can make it later. So all of these videos are on replay, okay? So you can come back later and watch it. And if you're watching on replay, hello, still pop your name in and I will give you guys a shout out. Um, and they're uploaded here on replay on the Facebook page, but also on the YouTube channel. So actually, guys, what I'm going to get you to do is head over to YouTube and you subscribe to the channel because then you'll know when they go up. And please like and follow this page because I know some of you say you're not sure when I go live or what's going on. And then that way you get a notification, OK? It is fun, Laura. I think it's good. I, nothing I like better than getting my hands stuck in. And if anybody doesn't normally like getting dirty and messy, this is a great way of getting better at that. So, Madeline, you are a wonderful cook. Oh, that is so nice that Mummy loves you. How nice is that? I want to see your, I, I'm sure Mummy is right, because Mummies are always right. But, Madeline, I want to see what you made later. Okay, so show me. And then if mummy's been very well behaved today, then you can let her try one and she can tell me what they're like too. So I don't think I'm going to make 20. What have I got? And this is good for doing maths, isn't it? So I've laid all mine out in rows. And those of you will know that I've got four and I've got four. So what's four times four? Let's see who knows with sticky fingers. Hi, Hesam. Of course, you can have a shout out. So I've got Isham and Hesham. Hesam, sorry. So, perfect. 
So I've got a little rogue one there, so I'm just going to make sure I stick that in. So you want to make them so they look like this. They're not so beautiful yet. I'm going to show you I've got another step, but you just want to roll them out so they're the same size, because that way then everything bakes at the same speed. Okay. Don't worry, I'm not carrying on. I'm just showing you mine. I know I'm a bit quicker. So I'm just going to wait for you guys. It's absolutely fine and answer any questions. And we're just going to wait. Do not worry. So while you're doing that, I will tidy up because tidying up is important. So I'll get all of these bits out of my way. And you can just keep rolling those balls so they look just like that. Okay. Perfect. Great. So I'm getting some hearts. I know some of you are nearly done. Grandma can eat these because they're gluten-free. That's amazing, Kate. That's lovely. That's why I wanted to do some different things. And lots of the recipes I do, even with flour, normally you can substitute and put in gluten-free flour. So I just wanted to do something a bit different because nuts are super good for you. And even if you have a nut allergy, unless you're allergic to all kinds of nuts, the advice, because I know this because my daughter has a nut allergy too, is that you should try and keep eating all the other nuts. So nuts are really good for us, okay? And grandma's going to love these, especially because you made them, obviously. So you should have about that sort of number and they should look nice and neat like that. Nobody told me what four by four was. Does anybody know who's finished and is good at maths? What is four rows by four? When you do your four times table, what's four times four? Good maths practice. Have we forgotten everything because it's the Easter holiday? Okay, we'll see. Right, they're gonna taste yummy, Laura, I promise. They're really nice. And when they come straight out the oven, they're even better. You need to leave them a bit and they're not too hot, but they're gonna have nice melty, gooey chocolate chips, okay? Yours is a little runny because you didn't have enough almonds, but you work with it, and that's it. That's fine, absolutely, try them again. So if you didn't have enough almonds, Kirsty, what I would have done is just reduce the oil. So probably what it is is you've got too much oil for the almonds. So what you might find is they're a little bit greasy, but just maybe bake them a little bit longer. I'm gonna show you, when they come out, you, they should look kind of like this. They'll be in a ball and a little bit lightly golden. So you might just make yours a bit, bake yours a bit longer, be fine, okay? Hi, Marita and Gula. Love your class. Thank you. And it's your first time. How nice to see you. So if everybody's got their balls, we're going to do something very... Uh, yours was a bit... Yeah, you can even add some oats. I don't normally add oats and anything to this if you're giving them gluten-free oats today. But um, yeah, you could add something like that. Or well, some of you said coconut flour. That would probably be the nearest, most similar thing. Okay. But always just, you know, scale down your quantities. So if you don't have it exactly right, and do it by feel. That's what I wanted to show you today. So if it's a bit wet and you've got more um, almonds, then add some more. Obviously, if you haven't, good for substituting. So we've got chocolate chips have melted. <laughs> have you got hot hands, Ty? That's normally what happens, yeah. That is one of the advantages. If you use chocolate and it's in a bigger chunk, it is a bit firmer. Um, and, but it doesn't matter. Marble cookies are going to be amazing, okay? You crushed your almonds, so yours wasn't quite dough like. Yeah, that's what I said, Donna. You need to put them in a little blender and grind them up because you want that kind of texture. But as long as they hold together a bit, I'm going to do a little squishy technique in a minute. You might find that helps, okay? What was 60 grams? That was of the um, oil, Rashmi, okay? The sunflower oil or the um, coconut oil. So, all done. Perfect. So, I'm going to show you something very technical now. It's called the squish. So, not a complete hand flat pancake. We're just going to put our fingers on and just give them a gentle squish. So I don't want them. Can you see? If I do a row, you'll see what I mean. So, they're still kind of, if I pick this one up. Can you see how thick they are there? I don't want them completely flat. So just a little flatter, okay? So I'm gonna put mine down so you can see. So a little finger, squishy, squishy, squishy. Do double time there. So they kind of look like that. It's cute, aren't they? Now, you can see some of mine have split and yours might too. So if you're really fancy pants, what you can do now is go around with your fingers and just make them into a really nice, circle shape and any of those little chocolate chips that pop out either they could disappear like that or you can put them back in a dough okay so how long in the oven they're going to need about 10 to 12 minutes something like that until they're a little bit brown depends on how, exactly how hot your oven is because all ovens are different but also depends how big you make cookies so i'm going to show you these in a minute so you can see Hello, Sania. Yes, four fours are 16. They are. I think you might be the only person that's given me that answer. Good for you. So this is like maths homework done, huh? So I'm just making sure that these look a little bit nicer. It doesn't really matter. I've got one little chocolate chip that keeps escaping there. I think that's going to be my one because it's got more chocolate chips. So if they come out, just push them down into the dough somewhere else. So you can see they should look quite neat, but they're homey things. Then you know, not perfect. Okay. 
they should look like that. And then once they look like that, and if I show you these from the side, you can see I don't want them super flat. So what you don't want to do is, I'll show you one, is you don't want to kind of get it in your hand and like squish it so it's massive and it's like a complete thing like that, okay? So if that happens, all you need to do is squish it back up in that ball, do that little squishy technique and just make it into a nice circle, okay? So you are very welcome. So like that, 10 or 12 minutes in the oven, they're gonna end up looking like this, yummy, yummy, yummy. They are quite crumbly, but they are, I mean, they won't um, disintegrate, but they are quite a crumbly cookie and they are really yummy. So for those of you that already said, especially grandma, I can't remember whose grandma it was, it's gonna love these. They're gluten-free, they're egg-free, they're dairy-free. So actually, if you have a packet of ground almonds, it's one of the things that I had on my list of kind of larger supplies that I always have in. It's fantastic for baking. There's lots of really good things you can do with that. Um, and we put it in our crumble, didn't we, a couple of weeks ago. So that's why I thought we'd use ground almonds. You might have some left over. So these are really nice. When you don't have eggs, you don't have flour, don't want to use sugar, perfect, perfect recipe. Great for Passover for anybody else that's celebrating. So I'm glad, that, oh, that's nice, guys. I'm glad you love it. So as ever, send me your photos. Pop them onto the chat. You'll probably be able to do that in about 15 minutes. And if you don't do it, then there'll be no point doing it later because I know you'll be ignored of them and then have gone. So the sun's out where I am. I hope it is where you are. So go and get a lovely drink, nice glass of milk or a nice cup of tea and um, go and sit outside and enjoy your cookies in the sunshine. And I will see you on Saturday when it's going to be time for making cheese scones. Have a lovely afternoon, guys. Thanks for joining me. Bye.